In my last video, I talked about how you can do one of the new Cisco type labs for the CCNA and this basic switch configuration lab, which is a chapter one lab where you configure a switch and a PC for IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. So you're using dual stack, both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses on the PC and the switch. But in the last video, I did it in NetLab on real equipment, and not everybody has a, a NetLab from NDG. So what about if you have Packet Tracer, which you can get from free for free from netacad.com if you sign up for their Introduction to Packet Tracer course and create a user account, and then you can download Packet Tracer. Now, the new version of Packet Tracer was just released. It's 7.3. It's pretty cool. Let's see here help about yeah packet tracer version 7.3 it was just released it's got something um, pretty interesting in it if you open samples and you go to 7.3 you can see there's a dynamic ARP inspection uh, folder here with a example of DAI that's pretty interesting and uh, WLC I'm, I'm assume this refers to wireless LAN controller but Anyway, that's, the, that's all I know about the new version of 7.3. But what if you wanted to do a lab like this and you wanted to do IPv6 on a switch? Well, in Packet Tracer, the switches don't have IPv6, or do they? One way, a hack, for how you could get this to work is to click on switches and then click on the 3560 series switch right here. This is a multi-layer switch. So this is a layer three switch, multi-layer switch. I'm gonna change the name here to S1. Okay, S1. And then of course you're gonna want a PC, so end devices, PC. And then you put the PC here. And this is PC-A. And then we connect them together with the cable. So I'm gonna put a straight through ethernet cable from the ethernet port to port six on the switch. The only difference is in this lab, it's a 2960 series switch, and this one is a 3560 series. Then the console cable, console connection, RS-232 to the switch here, console connection. So if we were initially configuring this switch, let's just set up the, the IP addressing that we're want, gonna wanna do here. 192.168.1.10 and also it's going to have 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon colon 3 slash 64 and fe80 colon colon 3 so it'll have three addresses on the pc an ipv4 address an IPv6 routable address and a link local IPv6 address on the PC. And then something similar for the switch. On the switch, it'll be 192.168.1.2 and 2001 colon DB8 colon a CAD colon colon 2 slash 64 prefix and FE80 colon colon 2 for the link local address on the switch. So an IPv4 address and two IPv6 addresses, uh, same thing over here. And we can just, we can show you how to set that up here. So for the PC, go here to desktop and then over here. And then the subnet mask. And then for IPv6 addressing, the prefix goes here, 64. And then we could change the link local address to FE80 colon colon three. It already had a link local address, but we can always change it. Okay, so that's done, the PC is done. Now let's see if we can find a hack for getting IPv6 to work on the switch. So, I'm going to connect to the switch. Let this, we'll pretend this is a brand new switch. It's never been configured before. So we have a console connection, a serial connection to the switch to configure it. So we open up the PC terminal and we get a serial connection to the switch. 
So there we have it. So we use this to configure the switch, just like you would on a real switch. No, okay. So I've got the switch. I'll type enable conf t to get to global config mode, and I'll change the host name to S1. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna do IPv6, but I also wanna do it on, in, according to this, VLAN 99, right? So, but let's see if we can even do IPv6 right now. So in other words, if I went into interface VLAN 1 and I put a question mark, there's no IPv6, right? So interface VLAN 1, there's no IPv6. So we need to exit. We need to change the template. So SDM prefer, I'm in global config mode, SDM prefer dual IPv4 and IPv6 and then question mark and you have a choice between default, routing and VLAN. I chose routing and it worked so I'm going to try that again, routing. SDM prefer dual IPv4 IPv6 routing. All right, And then it says that on the next reload this will work. So I'll do control C, copy run start, enter, enter, copy run start, enter, enter, and then reload, enter, and enter. So as soon as this reloads, I should have the new template, which will allow me to do uh, dual IPv4 and IPv6. Okay, back, press enter, enable, Okay, I'm in global config mode. Now, in this lab though, they want you to put the IP address on VLAN 99, which means right now the switch, everything on the switch is VLAN 1. Interface VLAN 1, switch ports are all in VLAN 1. Everything is in VLAN 1, right? If we do a control C, show VLAN, everything is in VLAN 1. We can see it right here. VLAN 1, the default VLAN, all the ports are in VLAN 1. So we're gonna make VLAN 99 and put these ports in VLAN 99. So we'll do that first. Conf T to get to global config mode. VLAN 99. Yay, now we have a VLAN 99. Interface VLAN 99. Now we have a switched virtual interface for VLAN 99 where we can put the IP address on the switch. So IP address 192.168.1.2. There it is. Then we're going to say IPv6 address. That's what it looks like. IPv6 address, 2001 DBA to CAD colon colon 2 slash 64. And then FE80 colon colon 2 link dash local for the link local address. And it's up, however, it's not really up until we actually put switch ports in VLAN 99. So to put all the switch ports in VLAN 99, interface range F0 slash 1 dash 24, 1 through 24, comma G0 slash 1 dash 2, and gigabit ethernet 1 and 2. So that's all 26 ports on the switch. And then switch port access VLAN 99. And now you can see the interface VLAN 99 is actually up because we actually have switch ports that are in VLAN 99. Okay, so now we've got VLAN 99, we have interface VLAN 99, and all the switch ports are in VLAN 99. Let's check it. Control C, show VLAN, and you can see that 99, VLAN 99, name VLAN 99, active, all the ports are in VLAN 99. Also, show run for the running config. If we scroll down to the bottom, spacebar, spacebar, spacebar to tab through the, to page through the output, 
You can see there's interface VLAN 1 with no IP address and it's shut down. That's the default. But we created interface VLAN 99 and you can see here it's got the IP address and the IPv6 addresses. We can see it right there. That's great. So now, well, that's great. Let's see if we can ping 192.168.1.10. We can. We can ping the PC. And let's see if we can ping its IPv6 address. And we can. Yahoo! All right, so we can ping also um, uh, the IP. No, notice I'm the switch. So I was able to ping the, the PC's IPv6 address from the switch. So yeah, that's great. So anyway, that's two parts of the test. I mean, not of the test, of the lab. And then the other thing I mentioned about the lab was, another cool thing about the lab is when you do a static configuration of the, of the MAC address. Let's see if we can do it. Mac question mark. Yep, there it is. Address dash table question mark static question mark. And then you need to put the MAC address of the PC. So if I want to do a static MAC address assignment on a switch port, I need the PC's MAC address. Well, to do that, I guess I'll have to close this open up the command prompt of the PC and do an if config all. I'm sorry, IP config all. It's, it's emulating a PC. There's the physical address of the PC. I'll just right click and copy that. Now if I go back into the terminal my serial connection here, um, MAC address dash table static. Notice they wanted the MAC address next. Paste MAC address space question mark VLAN 99 question mark interface interface F0 slash 6. So there's a static MAC address assignment to switch port 6. So you can see here that these are some of the things that you can do in this lab. The lab also asks you to do all kinds of just basic configurations on the switch, but that's a big part of it. You're supposed to answer the questions and whatnot, but um, I just kind of wanted to show that you could pull it off here and do IPv6 on a switch. In this case, I'm using the 3560 series switch, and I had to use the SDM command to change the template to the dual IPv4 and IPv6, and then I'm able to ping back and forth, and that's working nicely, and this is the newest version of Packet Tracer, Packet Tracer version 7.3.